You're watching The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. And studies show that one in three men have masturbated to her Instagram at least once in their life. What studies are you talking about? <laughs> Social media studies. Oh, That's there all. you go. Yes. Miss Bernice Burgos. Hey. What hey, up, Bernice? Welcome. welcome. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. First and foremost, who is Bernice Burgos? Who is Bernice Burgos? Bernice Burgos is an entrepreneur. I talk a little louder. There you go. I'm talking louder? You good now. Okay. Bernice Burgos is an entrepreneur. She's, I don't want to say video vixens. I really don't want to, I don't like that word video vixen. I like urban model. Okay. You know, I'm a mother mm -hmm. and um, I'm just taking over. All right. So you, you have two daughters. Yes, I do. All right, how old are your daughters? She is 21 and 11. I can't believe Bernice has a 21-year-old daughter. That's amazing. I had, I had her when I was 15. I know it's terrible, but I had her when I was 15. And, I mean... Why do you say that's terrible? Yeah, things happen. Because, you know why? It, things happen, but it's just like, you know, just having a child at the age of 15, I couldn't... I had to, like, rush and being a mother. I mm -hmm. couldn't just be, like, okay go to high school, mm -hmm. you know, go to parties, and you know what I'm saying, do the regular, you Regular 15-year-old life. You're right. So I'm over here being pregnant at the age of 15. It was so embarrassing because if y'all think I have a baby face now, when I was 15, I looked like I probably was seven. Mm -hmm. So you got you know? stressed out is what you so, said? No, it's oh, like people was like, oh, my God, a baby having a baby. Like, oh, gotcha. oh, my God. A lot so of judgment. It was just a lot of that. And it's just like, you know, it just felt like, I don't know. It didn't feel good, and then it's just like you know, I'm growing to be. I'm 15, but I gotta be. I gotta act like I'm 30. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I gotta act like I'm 40. Was the father a good you know? father in her life? Well, you know, I was dating a guy from the street. How old was he, first of all? He was. He was. Um, I think he was 19 or 18. Jesus yeah, that's Christ! A crime. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was a crime. Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah was. he was, and you know, in and out of jail and stuff like that. You know. Now you're from Jersey, right? I am from I'm from the Bronx. Oh, okay, from the Bronx. But How I did was you look at fifty. Did you look the same face and all of that? And what? Like the same face. Like she has 15? a new face now. or 15? something? Fifteen. Yeah. Um, everybody say I look the same. Okay. I I look the same. I'm in my thirties. <laughs> just so I'm, I'm, trying, like, I'm trying to see why would a twenty year old do that. That's all. Now, it's just, now how how did you start in in I don't even want to call it starts in a bartender because you know we all came up with, around the same before, age doing the same things and you were in a bartender at first and then all of a sudden. I remember, when, I remember when you right. worked in the mall. Yes. Yeah. Was the I, was, I was working. I was modeling. Mm -hmm. I was, you know, being an urban model. One day I met this girl, and I always wanted to be a model. Forever 21. Was that the store? BB. No. BB. BB. Okay, the BB. hottest store that everybody loved. BB, BB, Okay, BB. so. Um, Walk by I, BB to see BB. Right. I went I <laughs> went there. I worked there for three years, three and a half years, mm -hmm. and I was doing modeling, and, you know, Twitter it was popping at the time. You know, and I did the J. Cole video. and that What was video like was it? J. Cole workout. Okay, gotcha. The workout video. And that video was like dope video. It was just like young, fresh. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm in my range, playing ball. Like, you know, it was just a cute video. I was the lead girl because mm -hmm. that was one thing, you know. I, it was I, your range too, by the way, right? No, it wasn't. It wasn't? They didn't even put a range in. I just got a range at that time too. They didn't even put the range in. But, mm. you know, it's just, just listening to them. You know, it was just young and fresh, mm -hmm. you know. And then three years later, I did Dice Pineapples. Mm -hmm. In Anguilla. Yeah, that was amazing. Mm -hmm. That video was beautiful. Uh, it was just coming out my shell. Mm -hmm. It was just me. It's my time. I feel like you this because I met Bernice a, a while ago. No, you met me when I first started. Yeah, when you first started yeah. is when I met Bernice, when I was at Sirius. Yes. And I feel like when Bernice first started, you had a boyfriend like that whole time. Yes, I did. I had a boyfriend. So she was real, real. He used to be in the club. Key. We used to invite him to the club all the time. I used to see him in the gym all the time. In the club. <laughs> he he um he played ball overseas. Mm -hmm. What's that little hole in the wall club we used to do on Wednesdays? Yeah, used to always be there. Um, the one with um Kino. And, yeah, and, Kino and, and D. D. Yep. Uh, it was popping though. Yeah, it was popping. I remember I did my birthday there every Wednesday. <laughs> and they the whole like everything sold right. all the bottles. There was nothing. Everybody was doing competition like to give me. Bottle was 20, and I don't even drink. You don't even drink, right? I don't even drink. I wish I could drink, though. I wish I... So you don't drink now? I don't drink anything. I remember I went to Miami with Clue. Clue, I love Clue. And he's like, you don't drink? You don't drink? I bet you I'm going to give you a good... I'm going to make something. Watch. I'm like, I'm telling you, I don't drink. I don't like it. All right, all right. He's He went to the bar, and we in the club. He went to creep. the bar. He's making the drink himself. <laughs> 
doing it. And then he's like, try this. And I'm like, I don't like it. Clues a star tender? I didn't know Clue can make drinks. <laughs> right, like he made drinks, right? <laughs> I didn't know Clue can make nah, drinks. Nah, like he was just telling her, like, do this, do that, do this, do that. <laughs> you know? Ooh. But talking about talking about bartending, bartending was one of my, it's so much fun bartending. Right now, it's a little different, but three years ago, I think I stopped, what, a year ago? Or a year and a half ago? Um, you know y'all ruined it for the scrippers, right? It's not, no, 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 no. It actually, we made it better. Mm-hmm. We made it better. We did not ruin it because it's just like at the end of the day, you know, we doing customer service. You want a drink? I make you a drink. You know what I'm saying? Can you get me this? Can you get me that? Can you bring my singles? Strippers can't do that. You know what I'm saying? So we there to entertain. I know how to make a drink one. if you don't drink. You know what? I had to learn it. Easy stuff. Mm-hmm. You know? Hennessy and, and Red Bull. Regulars. Yeah, how hard can that we're be? Not, you know, not coming to your we, side of the bar we, for the drink, though. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. No, when people used to be like, can I have a, um, what they used to ask? Um, um, a sidecar. Nah, <laughs> they used to ask with the one with Patron and, and um, margarita? Lime, lime juice. Yeah, yeah margarita. Yeah. I used to hate that. Because that's a lot. Don't come to me with the lime juice and all that. Like, I don't got time. Listen, I'm doing bottles a <laughs> at this bar. There's only <laughs> bottles right here. <laughs> you know? So, it was like a blessing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I felt like, you know, making the money that I was making. I was only working there, only on a Sunday. Mm-hmm. You know, coming home, you know, I don't like to talk like I'm cocky and stuff like that. Just coming home with $8,000. Good days. Bartending? Yes. That's why I say yes. I ruined it for the script. No, they made their money too because I was the type of person like, if you, if you gonna, if you're going to mess with me and we're going to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I already know we're working. Just interact, and I'm gonna make sure he throw you some money. Mm-hmm. Like we all here to get money. I've been to stars you know before, saying? and I don't remember what none of the scrippers look like. But I can remember what three or four girls behind the bar look well, like. Well, you remember the nice looking ones, right? Yes. Right, exactly. <laughs> and the thing is, you just bring in more customers into the club in general to make it more popping for everybody. It's just bringing. It's it's just and then and getting like celebrities to come out. Right. It's not even I, I to actually, be but it's just like how it's how you carry yourself. Bernice brought a lot of celebrities out. You know to what I'm saying? Club. Yes, I did. Absolutely. It's how you carry yourself and who you are. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like right now at this stage, bartenders is not, you know, carrying themselves like because they feel like they got to do anything for them to just throw $500. Mm-hmm. No, be a bartender. You know what I'm saying? Even though you exchange numbers, know how to deal with these people. You know what I'm saying? They already know, oh, can I get your number? Sure. When you come next Sunday, you know what I'm saying? I'm right here. If you need me, put you in my bar. Let me know. I'll give you my number. But when they come with the, what's up, ma? No, honey, I have a boyfriend. Oh, I'm not interested. If you want to come and bring your girlfriend and we could all have a good time, we're going to do that. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And you know what they tell me? I fucks with you because of that. You know what? I'm going to come back next Sunday and I'm going to bring my friends with me. And we're going to have a good time. And it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. we all... It's just like right now, it's not like that no more. Everybody's just like, oh, he took, she took my customer. Oh, she did this, she did that. Everybody's having attitudes that, why are you going to have an attitude with, we all making money? Why we can't all get along? Everybody's not making money, that's why. But if they would get along with everybody, right. they would. Because when I had a lot of customers coming to my bar, I'd go right to my girl, Gracie, you got somebody coming out? She's like, nah, or, or, or whatever. Can I put them in your bar too? You know what I'm saying? Because starters used to be crazy. Mm-hmm. Crazy. It used to be so much fun. You know what I'm saying? But why'd you retire? That's why you got rid got it's you not stopped a doing thing. it. It's not a thing. I retired. I don't call that retired. I call that I just went to the next step. You were just, so what's the next step? The next step, I had to focus on bold and beautiful. I have a pajama line. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, I felt like, you know, I gotta I wanna do something. Everybody loved the way I dress. Everybody's always giving me compliments. I'm like, let me do something a little twist, a little something different. I like to wake up and feel beautiful and let me let me give something, you know, design it. Me and my daughter actually you know, her name is Ashley. She was telling me, and she designed it, and she was like, Ma, I think we could do this. Let's do this together. You know, even though me and her, we bump heads sometimes, because <laughs> it's my child, mm-hmm. you know, but it, it's just going so well. Isn't it weird for you that now she's 21, she could go out with you? You like, know what? She hates it. I took her one time to my hosting. One time, like, please come with me, come with me, please, please, please. She's like, all right, I'm going to go, I'm going to go. She came, and they was like, can I take, mm I'm, I'm not, that's not, that's her. You, you came here for her, not for me. And she said, I will never go with you again. <laughs> and I'm like, what? She's like, I don't like that attention. I don't, no pictures, no, 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 no. She's a home girl. She mm-hmm. likes to be home. But she's one of those home girls that know everything that's going on on the media. Gotcha. So she's one of those girls. Sometimes I got to be like, girl, can you just get off? 
How did that? How did that affect you as a mother? Because wasn't there a point where they had like a video of your your daughter out? They didn't had a video. They had a a picture. A picture. Yeah. You know, and of an outwear. I think she was with a guy in a, in a sexual act or something. Right. It was a person that she was dating at that time. Let me drink some water. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was a person that she was dating at that time, and um, everybody makes mistakes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's the way I see it. Ain't nobody perfect, mm -hmm. you know. And when that came out, yes, I was disappointed, but I had to, you know, I had to take the time and and, and be a mother, and 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 nurture her and be there for her. Because it's just like, I made my mistake when I was 15 and I didn't have anybody. Mm -hmm. And we had no you know social media either. I didn't have no social media yeah. or anything. But it's just like, you know, everybody talking down and coming at me. Oh, you're not a good mother and right. stuff. Like, you know what? Things happen. Right. It's a lot it's of bullying, mean. too. You never, it's hard for a young girl to have everyone coming at her. And then imagine your mom is also coming at you, too. Right. So it, it, it's, it's just like, I was pissed because you know why? I was thinking about me. Mm. I was thinking about your brand, my brand. Yeah. I wasn't thinking about hold up. It's my daughter. This is my daughter that mm -hmm. I'm thinking about. Forget about what's going on. You got arrested too for putting hands on on a, on a kid, right? No, no, no. I didn't get arrested for putting hands. This, everybody got that difficult. Because <laughs> I wasn't mad at you. I was like, if somebody what, messing with my kid too, I might have no, to No, what hands happened was, what happened was, Foot, um, elbow, all that. Who? Oh, that. okay. I would too. I was sitting there. I was just like, you know, what happened was my daughter had a fight, and I was I was in front of the school to pick her up. And she's like, Ma, this girl keep on bullying me. She's up talking to me in my face or whatever. I'm like, Ashley, if you feel like you want to do what you got to do, I'm here. Go ahead. Make sure you ain't getting jumped. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm sitting in the car and watching everything happen. But my daughter started going crazy. She started, like, going crazy. Then I go try to separate it. The mother comes. Oh. Mm. And I see her pulling her hair. I said, hold the fuck up. The mother pulled your daughter's hair? Yes. Oh, wow. okay. Yeah, you yes. crazy. I'm not mad at you. Yes. That. I said, wait a minute. How old was she then? Who, Ashley? Ashley, yeah. Ashley was like, uh, I think she was like 15, 16. Okay. Yeah, 15. I'm um, 15, or, yeah, around there. And I turned around. I just couldn't see anything. So the I mother was way older. And I was just like, whoop, whoop, whoop. Like, I said, no, this is it. You know, yeah, I got it. You know, I looked at like the bad one because I, put, you. I did more to her. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, the judge was like, well, if you would have just hit her one time, it would have been okay. How many times did you hit her, Bernice? Like three, and I need her. Okay. You know, Go the, ahead, Bernice. The need was the Tybo. bad part. No, the need, <laughs> the need was the bad part. I don't know where the hell I came okay. from. It's like my lawyer was like, if you didn't need her, you could have been okay. So, what you need her? In her face. Oh, my gosh. You know? But I'm not that person no more. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not that person anymore. Yes, you are. You're from the Bronx. I always say the craziest people in America are from the Bronx and all of Florida. No, I'm not that person. But don't get it twisted. Don't let the pretty fix fool you. Yes, I do get it popping, but I'm not that anymore. Okay. You know, that was a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. Now, let's discuss Bernice and relationships. Okay. All That's right. a good one. I like yeah, I'd like that. to. Yeah, go ahead. You. Okay, so people thought, and I don't know if this is true or not, that you were dating Drake for a period of time. Was that a relationship? And we heard he bought you a Bentley. Oh, come on. Well, I heard he bought you a Bentley and parked oh, it outside of Stalich. I heard that too with a big well, bow on it. Well, actually, it was a gift. I did have a gift. Okay. Somebody bought I'm a nice you a Bentley girl. as a gift. <laughs> so it was a Bentley. Why not? Yeah. I'm a nice girl. Yeah, I have a Bentley and I have a range right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I'm a very independent woman. So somebody okay? bought Bernice a gift? It was it, but it was actually a trait. You know, it was by the way, you know how much of a, I mean, you know how good your pussy got to be to get a Bentley. Yeah, my cousin say that all the time. <laughs> 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 but um, no, it's actually um, I I did a trade with my car, so it, it's gonna make it seem like, you know, a guy bought me a car. It was a trade. They brought it to my house. They brought it to you know to Starless or whatever. Even though whoever did it. Oh, so it wasn't hey, Drake that bought the bill? No. It was somebody else? No, yes. It was somebody else. It was somebody that was in my life, and he's still in my life. Mm -hmm. He's my Go friend. Go ahead, Bernice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, he's a good person. Do you still got the Bentley? Yes. She just she said, said she, she has it. Oh, yes. yes. All right, so back to Drake. So <laughs> was that ever a situation like with you and Drake? Drake, I'm going to tell you something about Drake. Drake is the sweetest person ever. He always been good to me. always been good to him. I will go to his wedding right now if okay. he gets mad. That's what I can tell you about Drake. I mean, you would you be invited to the wedding, though? Oh, he's sure he's going to invite me. Why not? I'm, a, I'm cool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But he's had Drake me. in the hood. Shit. Why y'all stopped kicking it with each other? Why? How we stopped kicking it? Oh, all right. Okay. She said this. Friends cool. is friends. Like, hey, what's up? I'm having a party. Coming out? 
What's up? Because it was all over the blogs. They were like, this is Drake's new girlfriend. New girlfend. girlfriend. Put your name in a rap. But, see. He put she... my name in a rap, too, but I'm not digging. Did he put my name? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Me and Yaris. Okay, y'all coming. Wait, wait. So you think he was trying to shoot a shot at no, Charlamagne? it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's cute. He's going to retire, no, no. retire Charlamagne's that was jersey. So, I, like, I like that verse. <laughs> I like that verse. <laughs> he mixed the best of both worlds. And did he give you yeah. your bottles? Yeah, he did. He sent right, six then. bottles up here. And then right, retired his jersey. Mm-hmm. He's a man of his word. That's right. <laughs> Shout what, out to Drake. What are some misconceptions about you, Bernice? Just in general. Like, the first thing people say is, oh, she uses her body you know to make what? money. She sells sex. Well, she sells pajamas no, and she models no. them, so that's... This, this one thing about me, I'm very confident about myself. Very, very confident. It took me to me to be in my 30s to feel like, you got it, girl. You know what I'm saying? I look at myself in the mirror and I tell myself, you're beautiful, you look good. You know what I'm saying? Whatever I do to my body, that's one thing girls need to stop with this fake shit. I'm sorry to say. Just because... Whatever I did to enhance my body, that's me. I pay for that, okay? And it's just like, don't hate. If I look good, be like, hey, that girl looks good. Mm -hmm. You You won't recommend the doctor. No, it's not. It's not. No, I'm not keeping no secrets. I don't have. It's it's no secrets. You know what? It's just every doctor be like putting me on their page, and they be telling me, you know, every girl comes in here and just show me your picture. You know what I'm saying? So they're gonna use me as promotion. You damn them. Smarter right. those girls, by the way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we'll like, I yeah, want to look, like look like this. Look like something. Look like Bernie. No, yeah. when I went, he had a he had a um, he had a, a a shape, one of those like a art shape. So I said, I want to look like that. I need to look like that. That's what you told the doctor. Yes, I did. That which would like that with Did you get a legal butt? No, but you know, but you know when I started feeling like I wanted to enhance my body, the first time I ever went to the strip club. When I went to the strip club and I went to, what is that, Sin City? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Sin City's in the Bronx, mm-hmm. right? I went there. And, you see them Spanish girls? Oh my God, I fell in love with them. I was like, I need this. <laughs> I didn't know we could do this. But all your stuff is proportional. Like, you got the nice butt, but you don't have the little legs. Like, your legs match your butt. Like, you know what? I was so skinny when I was 18. We seen the pictures. I, that picture? Oh, Let me my tell you goodness. something about you, that picture. I know you Let me, hate that picture. No. You love it? No. I'm, I don't hate You look anything. like you weighed 90 no, pounds. No, I was actually really depressed mm-hmm. at that point, at that stage. And um, I had a, um, I was in an abusive relationship. You know, I had a guy that used to hit me every other day. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it's not a thing to feel sorry or nothing like that. Actually, that relationship made me stronger. Okay. And it's just like, people don't know who is Bernice Burgos. People think just because they see a picture, you know, oh, because I'm showing, you know, panty and bra, Calvin Klein, or, you know, bathing suits, I'm a bad person. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm showing my body. Oh, they but see I, you out with different rappers you and know what I'm saying? you see me, with all of them? Yeah, and if they see yeah. me with you, I bet you, I want to bet you $1,000, I put you on my Instagram right now, I bet you five people will say to me, and say in my comment that I'm sleeping with you. Fuck no, nobody gonna believe that. Yeah. Well, they're because of him. Right. You're too far, yeah. Bernice. Yeah. Yeah. All right. No. What about you? There's no way she knows her standards to that level. What about you? <laughs> Not me either. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. That's the way people are. Like, you just told me about your situation. Right. Maybe, maybe you take a picture with right. you. Right, you posted you a picture. Either. What was your situation? Oh, we were just talking about the picture with Rick Ross. And everybody's like, yeah, she definitely effed him. Right. Right. The right? interview. <laughs> Like, come on. Like, it's just like, you can't. But you see, can't. when people say, and guys don't understand, when they say stupid stuff like that, people believe it. And they be like, oh, yeah, no, Charlamagne said no, she is. No, people, she people is. you know what? People are always asshole, assuming. Man. That's the problem. People uh, always assume. Cry, man. You know what I'm saying? So, right. back to the surgery. And, um, what you, you know. What you done? You know, I did a little bit of everything. But did you get illegal butt shots? It is legal. Legal. Butt shots are illegal, period. Yes. You can't get butt you shots. You didn't get your body in this country, Bernice. I refuse go. to believe that. No, the first time. To you went be, to a basement? To, to, to be, no. Because girls she, are going to basements. That's scary. No, me. she actually, you know what? It wasn't a basement. <laughs> really? Thank yeah, but, God. But she had it She had it set up real nice. But it was a house, though. No, I'm thinking about was it now. Was it in Queens? It, it was so many years ago that I did. I did, I did my butt first. Was it in Queens? No. 
Stop interrogating her. But every time you want to go get butt you want to go get butt I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. It goes okay. It was in the Bronx. Oh, in Bronx. Okay. It was in the Bronx, and um, I went to her. That was the first thing I did right after I had my second daughter. I was like, damn, I just, you know, I got these two dents in the side. I just want to fill them up. I just want to, you know, I already had an ass. The side and I'm like, here? yeah, the I side got dents. Too. Well, yeah. Okay, Abby, okay. okay. like, can you give Emmy where he I just want to fill my side again. dents. I want to fill them I got up. Side dents. And she's like, yeah, maybe just fill them up and get, you know, give you a blump in the middle, you know. So she hooked it up real cute, you know. But at the same time, I did that, but I lost weight. Mm-hmm. So when I lost weight and when I gained it back, when I met, um, my, my, my ex-boyfriend, when I met him, mm-hmm. I started eating and eating and eating and eating. You know, I got thick. So it all started to add up, like the legs got plumper, all right. that. But my legs got thick because I started working out. Mm-hmm. Well, you, you I'll know, be watching you in the I gym. I started working out. I'm very, like, I've always been a person that's been in the gym since I was 18. So I said to myself, when I was 18, I was so skinny. I was taking pills to gain weight, nutrients, eating bagels, doing everything just to gain weight, and it, it happened. Mm-hmm. So I was like, you know what? The next thing, let me go to the gym. Let me start lifting up weights and stuff like that. And once I started doing that, my legs started getting bigger. You, you know? And then, too? yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's one of my favorite parts. Yep. Mm-hmm. I got too. that part. <laughs> Where's your Bible, bro? Um, were you ever concerned, though, about, like, the, especially with the illegal you, butt honey. shots and You're everything? Welcome. Were you ever nervous? Because I know those you know what? It's not wrong. It's not even. It's, it's not a. It's not a thing. Being concerned is a thing. Listen, if I'm gonna do it, I don't give a shit. I'm gonna do it. It is what it is. If it's something happens, something happens. Yeah, you're not happens. What's gonna happen? Like thirty no, years down the line. Don't, yeah, Cardi B thought she, she said she thinks she might drop dead any at any moment. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Now, are there women that you feel like you used to be friends with, but now they don't like you, or they're jealous, or? You know what? That's a that's that's a good question. Um, used to. That's one thing. I don't worry about what other people is doing. That's one thing about me. I'm not sitting in my house looking at my gram and dwelling on this person, this person, this person. Why? But I mean in real life, like people, because no, you always it, have friends. And... No, it, it's not Not my real close friends. Mm-hmm. I have friends. I have associates that I keep them right here. This person to go out to the club. This person is to, for this. This person is for that. I, I know where I have everybody at. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not, I know how friends are. Right. You know what I'm saying? I know how people are. They want to use you. But it is what it is. You want to come out with me tonight? Hey, let's go and hang out. You know what I'm saying? You want to talk? I ain't going to sit there and keep on talking. Like, I'm going to make sure to make you feel comfortable mm-hmm. and talk about your situation. You understand what I'm saying? But I can't worry about these people not liking me, even though they used to be my friends or whatever. Either you either you hear or not. Either you not. A lot of it you know is hate at this point, though. Yeah, and and it is, and I know it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I do? Hey, how you doing? And keep it moving. Well, I was shocked it's... when you replied. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. No, no, I was shocked when you replied to the tiny when you actually said something about that situation. Well, I was shocked with myself too. I'm very disappointed what I did. Um, I don't. I'm not saying I don't regret it, but I learned, you know, from being on social media. Social media sometimes will put you will put you in a place that you like. You have to fight with people that you don't know. But what made you reply? Because I was uh, because I was listening to social media. So many lies. Mm. So many lies and so many, yeah, you this, you that. You, you a home this, wrecker. You, this, you broke up their marriage. Yeah. Like, what? Like, wait well, a this, minute. This, this, this wait a minute. It was about. only, you know, it was only for business. I went, you know, he inter- I got introduced for a movie. You know okay, what I'm saying? Okay, so you, saying? we're talking about you and T.I., now, people were saying that you were a homewrecker, and you and Tiny had some back-and-forth commentary. A lot of people were jumping into it, but you're saying you only got introduced to T.I. for business. It was only for business, for, mm-hmm. for movie. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could, you know, people need to stop just, just because I'm pretty, just because they so-called say a video vixen, just to let y'all know, stop with this video vixen shit. It's not video vixen. We not, you know, the other day... You know, you was, you know, Lala was here or whatever. And, you know, I heard I heard the um, interview and you were saying, um, do you speak to the bartenders and video vixen? You know what I'm saying? Even though you was trying to, you know, say my name, but it's like, you know me. You know what I'm saying? Like that's Well, what... yeah, it's based on the show that she has. Right. So she's... you could have said, you know, what about the young ladies that's on the show? Not I video think I vixen. I, part... I don't think no, I said. No, you didn't. You said. I gotta listen to it because I'm pretty I sure I said to it Bernice. Twice. These young women that are on the show that you're um, producing, mm-hmm. they they used to be bartenders and uh, I guess Instagram models. 
what kind of advice do you give them? Do you find that you're friends with them outside of the show? Do they come to you for certain things? Do you communicate with them? Or do you feel like it's a strictly business? Just because Lala is up here and you're going to pull Lala here and we down here. Well, no, I was saying that because she has a show that she's producing. So I'm saying do you mix the business with the pleasure? Like, are you personally friends with people that you work with because you're producing a show? Because sometimes people don't want to get attached to people that's on the show. The way you're saying it, you're saying it great right now. Right, right that's now, what I was asking. Last you. time, I mean, when I heard it, it was just like, oh, you speak to bartenders and video vixens? Now, like, Bernice ever... has been in the headlines a lot lately because of the whole situation with T.I. Right. What advice did you give her? I'm not going to get involved in anybody else's mess. I know, I got to listen back to that because I don't think I would have ever, ever said it like that. Yeah, and I'm like, Because I know actually me. know some she of the women name. that are supposed mm-hmm. to be on you the know? show. And I thought the show was based on bartenders. and Entrepreneurs. Urban but models. they used to be bartenders, right? Isn't that the... Right, okay. right. But it's just like, you know, how the way you said it. You talk about just the like, stigma around the word right, bartender. Right, exactly. It's just like, you know, just because we bartenders and Doesn't video make you less than anybody else you exactly. said. I don't think I've you know? ever tried to put somebody down for being a bartender. I mean, or... that's, the, that's the way I took it. You know, you I just first... put DJ Clue down for being a bartender, so stop <laughs> it. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> how did you hook up with Lala? I said, I, you said oh my DJ gosh. Clue was a <laughs> um, star tender. That wasn't even me. <laughs> Stop, Clue gonna be so mad. <laughs> be mad. You, Shout you, out to Clue. Yeah, salute to Clue. Clue's not, man. Don't play them games with Clue, man. <laughs> okay. I'm standing um, up with my guy. Salute to Clue. How'd you go with Lala? I got introduced with Lala about the, you know, she she came to me. Not she. Other people came to me about the show. At first, I didn't want to do it. You know, I never been on a show. Never did a show. Never did anything. And I said to myself, if I'm going to be on a show, God is going to help me be like, hey, like, you know, because I'm very spiritual. I love God. And I felt like these shows right now, I'm not too happy about it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't like how they making us look. With the love of hip hops and reality I'm not, shows. I'm not really too happy about it. I got but you. to each his own. Right, you understand what I'm saying? Like you wanna go up, y'all wanna go up there because y'all wanna make a name for yourself. I feel like I don't need to do that. Mm-hmm. I'm not chasing the fame. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like if I'm if the fame is gonna come to me, it's gonna come. You know, so when I got introduced to Lala, at first I was kind of nervous, like, you know, she's bad. Like, she's beautiful. And it's just like, damn. I'm like, I'm like mm, I hope she don't give me no attitude because, you know, I'm like. But when she calls me and she had a conversation with me, I was just like, wow. And we had, you know, we had lunch together. And it felt like I was just sitting there with my best friend. Lala's well, super down to earth. No, like, I, yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I had to make phone calls. Like, who you think she what she's dope she's like you i'm telling you i'm gonna relate like she's so dope she's so cool and i'm like i don't know but i'm nervous or whatever so when i met her and we both you know they're just sitting there and just just talking about everything it just felt so good and i'm mm-hmm. like damn and I, when i left out of out of that um restaurant i said to myself you can never judge anybody you know what i'm saying because how they look or anything it's just like wow there are good people and there are people that want to help you and to better you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it was just like, it was just dope to me to meet her. And, you know, even though the show won't happen, I'm happy that I met a person that is strong and she's like me. You so know what I'm saying? the show isn't happening or it is? I said, if it oh. I don't know. If it does, it does, it doesn't. You know, it is what it is. So were you and you T.I. ever kicking it? Was you? No, absolutely not. What about you and Khaled? We've seen you kiss Khaled. How much did Khaled, <laughs> how much did Khaled Shut pay? up. <laughs> no. It, it was, it was, I got paid pretty good. Shout out to Gabby. You know what I'm saying? I got paid pretty good. And um, I actually didn't want to do the video. I said to myself, I ain't doing no video. You didn't want to kiss Khaled. As soon as you saw that. No, script, actually, <laughs> no, that was not on the script. Like, that was nothing that. Oh, that was your choice. That was just, no. <laughs> I was just sitting there <laughs> and they was like, you know, it needs to look neutral. It needs to look good, whatever. And we just went forward. Like, it was just like, and I did it. Like, oh, you didn't know he was going to kiss you? I didn't know. We was just going to. So know. he didn't ask for consent. <laughs> what? You can't rape a mouth. Ma- well, whoa. No, 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 no. It was, it was, it wasn't. <laughs> I mean, we him. always, you know, we always got to sign a consent forms and stuff like that. Whatever we do, you, you know, cleared it for it, yeah. Right, but it was the dopest video. Why did you it say you dope. didn't want to do it? Huh? You said at first you didn't. want Oh, I didn't want to do it because I was just like, oh, all these people. Oh, I don't know. I, I need to be the main girl. Like that's me. I there you need go. To be the main girl. There you go. Like if I'm gonna do the video, it needs to be me. Like I need to like. Mm-hmm. You know, so it wasn't for my assistant, Alexi. I love you, girl. Uh, she was like, please, I love Chris Brown. I love Chris Brown. I was like, all right, I'm going to do it for you. And that was like the best decision I made. 
it was beautiful. And Khaled, just his spirit. He was just like, girl, like, it's, it was just like, this is going to be this and this is going to be that. Like, what? They're going to have to be paying you more money for your bookings and da 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 it's just his spirit. His mm -hmm. it just made Very me positive. feel got a lot of so good. Energy. good. I was just like, wow, you could do anything. Would you kiss it, him again? I mean, is this acting? Yes. Gotcha. So, they, what acting do you have coming up now? Because you said that you guys are working on some things, you and Ti. But is that now like y'all no, can't even? No, actually, it. You know, can y'all not be cool now because no, of everything of that course, happened? Of course, of course. Hey, how you doing? What's up? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That's one thing about me. This is why people fucks with me because I'm a down to earth. It's nothing bougie about me. I will go to your VIP and like, yo, what's up? How you doing? Like, let me, you know what I'm saying? Help you yeah, out. That's, real. I, that's just me. Well, people don't know that about I'm you. Not, that about I'm you. not fake when it comes with this. This is me. Like, I stop trying to like, I'm not sitting there being, you know, in my hosting. It's like, mm, hey, no, I don't want to take no pictures today. I've never seen you act hostage, did he? No, no, not at all. Like that. I'm like, I'm like, yo, what's up? Bernice we gonna will dance hit you up the... randomly and be like, what are you doing? I want to come out. Let's right, go like, party. and I don't drink. I don't drink. You know what I'm saying? But when, when I go to these hostings and they pay me, you know, and I'm like hosting like crazy, and it's a blessing that is even happening. You know, it's ten so... grand a pop. No, not ten grand yet. But you know, <laughs> I get five thousand. You know what I'm saying? It might be a little more, but no, at the country, I got paid for. I got paid thirty thousand dollars. Not to talk about that, about how much I made. But for one party, I was like, and when I went to Africa, I was like, no freaking way. Like, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I went to Africa, and to have 4,000 people outside waiting for you, calling your name, I caught the chills. I said, I can't believe this. Like, I can't believe it. And it's just like, it, it was, I almost started, like, tearing because it's, like, scary. Like, all these people is like, Bernice, 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 Bernice. And I'm like, well, I'm Kim Kardashian right now. So what's the next step you know, for Bernice? The next step for me, uh, I have a lot of ideas. I have a foundation for Bernice Burgos uh, for young women that's, you know, that's having babies and stuff like that. Because it's, 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 like, really big for me. You know, I've been a young mother, didn't have anything. I had to be in public assistance. I had to do this. I had to do that for me to make it. You know what I'm saying? For me and my daughter. And it's just like... You know, it's like, I feel it. Sometimes we make mistakes. It's okay. But don't give up. Don't give up. You sit there, like, you know, I lived in the projects. And I see, you know, not to talk about girls, girls, you know, smoking weed. It's okay, you know, with scar. But know how to do your shit. You know what I'm saying? Know how to own your shit. If that's what you're going to do, nobody don't need to see that. So I used to walk, you know, take my daughter to school, go upstairs, go to work, go to school. And it's like, I don't want to be there. This is not what I want. I don't want this. I want it. I want a bigger picture. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't finish school. That's one thing. You didn't finish high school? No, I didn't finish high school because wow. I had to be a mom. I had to 15. be a mom. Mm -hmm. Like I had to, I was living in my mother in law's house. Going to work. Going to school. Picking up my daughter. Coming home at eleven thirty. Dishes all the way to the top. I have to wash. So you was married at one point? No, I wasn't married. Okay, okay, okay. But it's just like, you know, you living in somebody's house because my grandmother kicked me out or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because she was upset because I was a favorite granddaughter and stuff like that. But it's just like you live in a house that, okay, you're not paying no rent here? Okay. You got to clean. You have to cook. I don't care what time you walk in this house. But you know what? I love her to this day because she made me who I am now. You never said what happened to your baby's father? Which one? The first one. The first one. She said he was in and out of jail. He was in and out of jail. Okay. You know? Um, he's cool. You know, my daughter's 21 now. Sarai's dad. He's amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, still trying to, you know, everybody's just trying to eat and trying to make it in life. Would you let them get, like, no. the enhancements and stuff they wanted to? Who? My daughter? Yeah. Well, she has. She She's has. 21, though. She's she, 20. Her mom came she, really yeah, she posted she, about she, it. She, she did oh, it. I didn't know that. Yeah, she, sometimes my daughter, she's just be <laughs> emotional with, with the gram and stuff like that. Sometimes I got to sit there and tell her, like, listen, here, these people are not your friend. Mm. Okay? Stop sitting there telling your business. All right? Just stop it. No, like I was just saying it like this, and I was saying no because Snapchat, you you might say stuff and it mm -hmm. just looks wrong. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen, if anybody want to do plastic surgery, go ahead. If you feel like you got the money to do it, and go and do it. Stop hating on the other girls that go and do it. Nah, you know Stop. what it is though, because I just have a problem. Sometimes people go too far. 
You know what I mean? But and, you, and it's like they, it's addictive. It's like tattoos. They start doing a little bit, then they start seeing things about themselves that they really don't that that see, look you, good. That's true. And they start looking like Catwoman. Like yours yeah. is just right. You got baby bears parch. Yeah, I'm like it's natural, but I love it. To tell you the truth, I I, I love what I I never say like I would regret it. No, I love it. And and everybody, oh, you have fake ass. And, yeah, but you're gonna keep on looking at my videos. You're gonna keep on liking my my pictures. You might not love me today, but you will love me tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So that's the way the mentality, how I get social media. Social media is a motherfucker. Absolutely. Really. That shit will bring you down yep. and bring you all the way to the ground. That I had to sit in my house one day and I was just calling. I told my mom, I'm like, Ma, like, I can't do this. Like, I, I don't want to be on this. I can't do this no more. So, so she's like, so you're going to let these people that they don't even know you? Are you kidding me? No. But then there's also so many people that love you and support you on there. I know, but sometimes you don't. You look at the bad sometimes. Because obviously that's how you're you know able to saying? sell your Absolutely. pajamas, right. the gold and the beautiful. Right, but sometimes you look at the bad. Just that one person could say something like, I hope you die. I hope you this. I'm like, damn, why me? Yeah, I was wondering why? how you dealt with that because it was one time for about a, a good week straight, maybe two weeks, your name was every day, you know, social media, in the press, in the media, Didn't in the news. Did Tamar come at you too, Tamar Braxton? She did. I didn't Don't see that. Don't start no stuff. Don't yeah, start no stuff. I'm like, she, she did. Bernice Hood that. over there. <laughs> no. Didn't didn't one of the Kardashian sisters post a picture with you? I saw that. Yeah, let me talk about Who that. Who was that? Um, Chloe. Okay. Actually, um, my friend invited me to her private party. And I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to go there. I don't know how they're going to be or whatever. He's like, come on, come. These people are cool or whatever. So when he introduced me to her, you know, and um I was like, hey, how you doing? My name is, she was like, she gave me a hug. Mm -hmm. She was like, come here, I love you. I'll be on your gram, stalking your That's gram. Da, da, da. I was like, oh my God, like this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Like it was just so much love. And then Kylie's best friend comes and give me a hug. And it's just like, come on, let's go to the photo booth, take a picture. And I'm like, damn, like, it's just like, this is what people want. Like we, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes we can't keep on saying like, oh, this person don't like me. I'm not right. gonna be like this. I'm not gonna say hello. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm, what I'm saying? But you know what? I said to myself, I'm going to stay who I am. I'm going to be Bernice. I'm going to stay who I am right now. I'm not going to act like, this is me. This is how I am. I'm a very kind person. You know what I'm saying? So if I say hello to you, and if you don't say hello to me the next time, I'm like, forget this person. Mm -hmm. But this is me. It was just so beautiful because I look up to those girls. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I like them. Mm -hmm. You know? And it's just like, you know, even when I went to Black China, she was down to earth, so cool. You know, Amber Rose, I haven't met her. We spoke on the phone. It was a surprise. I'm talking to Amber Rose, this bad bitch. Amber cool as hell, too. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, ah, oh, I'm talking to her. <laughs> I'm like, shh, go stop. You know, and it just felt so good that, you know, girls is really coming together. Who was the craziest person that tried to holler at you? What, regular, regular men? I, miss I, could I could tell you one story I had. Uh, one story, especially... Oh, it's just so many. Um, Damn, Bernice. I'm sorry. So it's just crazy. like. I know your DMs look crazy. You know what? And I never check them. I never check my DMs. I'd be more on Snap, mm. checking my DMs from there, than DMs on Instagram. Because I think Instagram is more personal. Now yeah. everybody's about to be you on know the Snap saying? sending messages. Cause no, I love, you I, love, I love Snap. I, you know, I be in there talking my shit sometimes and being cool. And everybody love that. You know what? You know it, it was this little boy that was 14. He was like, I told my mother I'm going to marry you. Just please reply to me. 14. I said, boy, go to bed. He gonna ask go you to the prom. bed. So what's the craziest? What's the craziest? You telling us the craziest. Uh, the craziest thing a man did. A man or a did try to me. holler. The craziest guy to try to holler. I was talking celebrity. but That's both. I like both those. Yeah. Um, Celebrity is sometimes they be like, uh, oh, Ken, um, hey, my assistant is going to book you. And it's just like when you get there, it's just like, oh, fuck, I didn't know he was going to be here. You know what I'm saying? Like, shut up. But that's regular. Mm -hmm. um, that's regular. That's regular. That's what they do, you know? I don't even know. So people book you just because they want to meet you, basically. You know, a lot of, you know, not, not I don't, some other people, right? Yeah. Nobody ever flew out to Dubai. No. no. That's one place <laughs> you know I would love. You know Dubai. No. That's one place I would love to go to. I would love to go to Dubai. You haven't been to Dubai yet? No, Abu Dhabi? I haven't. I thought you was one I of the first. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't went. I haven't went. To tell you the truth, a lot of people come in my emails 
Like, hey, we just want her to come and hang out. We give her whatever she want. Uh, no. Don't no, do that means it. they don't got do one of them crazy contracts, no. 50 grand. They want to yes. doodle on you and tie you no, up. No, 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 not doodle. But they just, <laughs> want, no, no, they just wanted me to be there and just hang out and have dinner. No. No, thank you. I don't need, why should I do that? That's not me. That's mm-hmm. not, I don't do that. They was trying to link you to Meek Mill recently, too. Oh, Meek Link- Mills. He's mad cool. Uh, he's a very good, positive guy. Mm-hmm. Um, he's cool. He's just cool. You know, um, he called me one time. He's like, hey, can you, you know, put this song out or whatever? And I heard it. It was um, the one with Chris Brown. And I was like, oh, I love it. I was like, I'm going to the Bahamas. What, what happened to the Bahamas? I said, I'm going to the Bahamas tomorrow. I'm going to do me a cute little video. Video's going to go rival. So it's just like, you know, sometimes when you meet good people, it's not, don't think a man or a female is because I'm sleeping with them. You mm. never know what I could right. do, what we doing together. Now, Majority of my friends you know are females. Like, I, I'd rather have, I, I, don't, I have a very select and, few and you, male friends. And you married? Yeah. And how she feels about that? She cool, because she's friends with them too. You know why? Yeah. It's confidence. That's what it is. It's, it's just social media that does that. Right. And then it's these guys up here every time we interview but you a guy, can't, they be like, But yeah, you, you cannot know. block. You can't be like, oh, I don't want to talk to him because. But sometimes. You, you never know what he could do. He probably could come and like, hey, I got this, you know, this idea. Would you would like to be down? Like, we're going to make $3 million, $4 million. Like, you're going to really just, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, I'm not going to do that. Hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Yeah, like, just because I'm a woman doesn't mean I can't do business just like a man does business with a man. Right, right. And it's just like. People need to stop just because the way I look. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, I'm I'm a whore. I'm fucking this. I'm fucking that. You know what I'm saying? Have so you I'm, ever taken a picture with a guy and like his wife or a girlfriend contacted you and was like, stay away from my man or anything crazy no. like that? Mm-mm. Never had that. I never had. No, only when I was in a situation. Mm-hmm. Only in a relationship, they called me and stuff like that. But oh, I never when he had. was cheating. Uh, yeah, yeah, he did. He cheated. Or whatever. We actually both cheated. But who cheated first? He did. And then I cheated because I wanted to get back. But Oh, I you le- found out and then you wanted yeah, to get back. Yeah, but I learned. Who was this lucky I- guy that you cheated with? <laughs> to get back. Who was this? <laughs> I, can I can say. Did he know that he was just a revenge fuck? I don't think no, he cared. He probably I didn't care. He, I can't. <laughs> but it's just, you Do know. Do you know him? Yeah, of course. Really? Mm hmm. <laughs> so what are you saying? What's so you saying? How do you know that rapper? No, I know no, that he's a businessman. No, no. He is. He was a celebrity. He is a celebrity. Mm-hmm. But um, no, I and, and you know what? I learned from that. Every day I learn. It doesn't matter what age you are. And please, these people be like, oh, you 40, you this, you that. So what? Who cares? You look Who great. Who freaking cares? You 40 for real? No, I'm in my 30s. Okay. But look, Jayla is 48 and she is oh my popping God. more than anybody. Yes. To tell you the truth, like, not for nothing, these young girls in their 20s is looking like they 40. I've been saying that. The older women you know are saying? killing the young girls. Like, why are you going to knock me? Why are you knocking me on my gram? Why are you knocking me because of how the way I look and the way I'm taking care of myself? Yes, I went to dick surgery, and I'm going to make sure I keep this shit. <laughs> and you, you know be in saying? the gym all the time, yeah. from, from what I see, playing of the fitness. Of course. I, yeah. Oh, it's another thing. People always judge me because I be on Platinum Fitness. What's wrong with Platinum Fitness? Yeah, what's wrong with, you know, $10 a month? <laughs> what's wrong I like that. Fitness? I'm frugal. You know? I go in the basement, I ain't. Listen, I, it okay. doesn't matter how you work out as long as you're working out. So you got a Planet Fitness? I have. How many dudes are in that Planet Fitness while you working you, out? Actually, they, they actually love me in there. They always so cool with me, you know? They want to spot you. I like no, the no, exercise no, no, you no, be no. doing when you be working your legs and you be like doing your legs. I, I, I work out. Why she do what? Nothing. nothing. Read your Bible. <laughs> I work out with a with a with a female. Actually, mm-hmm. her name is Kiana. Thank you, Kiana, because she's like so motivated. She was she's great. You know, I wanted to do something different. I was always working out with a guy. I said, let me try a girl mm-hmm. to see what she, what can she do. I I know how to work out. Sometimes I just need that push. Right. Mm-hmm. You just need the push. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes when a, another person is working out with you, you're like, oh, I do it better. You see me doing these crunches? I do it more than you. You did what you did? Twenty? I'm doing fifty. Shout out to calm down. <laughs> <laughs> you need to do a workout video. No, you yeah, you over there. Look you at know, you, you need to do a workout yeah, video. No, I am. I, I got that. In, I got. You, you know, don't I got need a couple. Of, I got a couple of things going workout. on in my life right now. You know, a lot of couple of positive things. Giving back. It's one of when I went to Africa. That was like, I wanted to cry because I was so excited. What part of Africa? I went to Angola. Angola. 
And when I went there, I gave back to these young girls. I did it out of my money. I didn't call anybody. I said, you know what? If I could buy myself jewelry, cars, mm-hmm. whatever, like there's people really out there that's in need. Mm-hmm. So when I gave back to that, I was so excited to go to Walmart, go to Target, and buy little pajamas, buy slippers. I was so excited to do that myself. I said, you know what? I told my team, I said, this is what I want to do. I want to give back. If I'm getting money, I just want to give back. I, it's, it's just me. I love to see people smile. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy. They be like, you the celebrity one or whatever. No, I want to make her make sure she's comfortable. I want to make sure she's good. We, we going to the spa together. We getting our nails done. It's just, it's just that's the way I am. I just like to make people smile. Mm-hmm. So when I did that, it was just like I almost cried. Mm-hmm. You know? What's Send your, it out. What's your ultimate goal? Like, what does Bernice Burgos ultimately want to do? To tell you the truth, I just want to be a very independent woman that I could do it on my own. Not to say men are, you know what I'm saying? Having a man there is is, is motivating. If you but want to buy me a Bentley, I'm going to take it. But. Sometimes a man could, like, push you back. You know what I'm saying? Because you'd be too comfortable. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that was me at one point. Right. When I get in a relationship, it's just like, okay, I could, you know, babe, you don't got to go to today i know right all right so i ain't gonna go to work i ain't gonna go to work tomorrow <laughs> okay i'm not gonna go to work yep yeah, we're going shopping tomorrow. all right cool it's just like then you get to the point like when you have an argument with him it's just like i'm out who's gonna pay these bills and who's gonna do this and yeah. who's gonna do that and it's just like no ain't no more crying ain't no more nothing get get on your feet do what you gotta do you know what i'm saying because if my man could buy me this i'm Trust me, you're going to get the same thing, too. It's just mm-hmm. me. I, I just like to make my own money. It mm-hmm. feels good. It feels good. Don't it feel good when y'all wake up every uh, day? I enjoy even... making my own money. Right. And don't you don't owe nobody. And people feel, Yo, I'm sure you, you know, got a sense of entitlement The first time, you. the first time I ever did this, so the first time on my birthday this year, I invited my friends, my family, and um, I ran out of house. It was $12,000 for only three nights, I think it was. Three nights. Who was it at? It was in Miami. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to go somewhere. So I was like, no, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And it's, you know what's so crazy? I didn't go out and buy me anything. Mm-hmm. I make sure my friends and my family was comfortable and having a good time. And it's just like, if I could do that, you could do anything. Right. You don't always got to be like, mm-hmm, he's going to put me on first class. No, put yourself on first class. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to have a man mm-hmm. and make sure you have a man that's going to make sure you there, but don't get too comfortable. You understand what I'm saying? It's just like when you're comfortable, it's just like us women, we just get to fall, we just fall back. Yeah, I always say like people will tell you because to wait until you get a man to buy a house that right. you guys are like, live no, in together. No, no, buy a house I, yourself. I want to do it it's now. an investment. I want to do it now because when I do meet a man, the money that he, whatever he does for me is extra. Mm-hmm. It's nothing. You want to leave? Bye. Goodbye. I'm good. So you're not in a relationship now? No. I'm single. Not. I'm very single right now. I'm just having Get a good time. Snapchat DMs. There you go. Hit her up. You know, Snapchat. I'm just, right I'm now. just chilling. I'm just focusing on me. You know what I'm saying? What kind of man would you want if you had to say these are the qualities I want in a man? Um, I want a man that's I like a confident man. That's very important for me. Very, I, I need a man that's confident. Mm-hmm. You know, I need me a man that's that's gonna motivate me. You know, and and just push, push me, push. Not What's just like, you you not, you know, because you know what men do? They be like, nigga, just, just, you know, have a baby on her. She can sit down and shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't, no, you're not going to do that to me. You don't do that to me. I tell a woman that, like, man, if you don't you have a baby from this nigga, no, you got $100 million. No, dollars, right? I don't care. See, but the you're crazy bird, part Charlie. about it, I don't bird. care how much money you got. Right. If me and you, we ain't cool with conversation and having a good time, I can't fuck with you. I can't even sleep with you. And just because a man makes a hundred million dollars doesn't mean what you do isn't important and you're not passionate you know how- about what you want to do to make your own money. Like, right. I got to just sit down and have a baby and forget my goals. Do you know how many men come at me? I can imagine. Do you know? You know Charlamagne was a female. How many times he be pregnant right now? <laughs> <laughs> Charlamagne would have about 24 baby daddies. Nah, <laughs> it's, it's just like... I, 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 you, you know what? I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I'm picky. I'm just picky. To Kluvi, like, oh, you know, you always gonna be single. I'm like, no, I'm just picky. I'm just picky. So Clue is your bartender, your counselor. <laughs> no, what else is Clue, Clue is do my homeboy. Like, I love Clue. Clue is a person. Clue is gonna be so mad at you. Yeah, he is. He is. Clue, I love you. Clue is a good man. Clue is a good man. Well, we appreciate you for joining us. Where can they find you at? 
at Real Bernice Burgles. <laughs> <laughs> well, my Instagram. Find it. You, better, you better ask her to put Real Bernice Burgos. <laughs> yeah, <no>. uh, <laughs> my pajama line is a bio there. You know, shop bold and beautiful. I have a lot of things coming. It's just like you know, just believe in me and believe in yourself, females. Just believe in yourself. Why you bring no pajamas though? Charlemagne and Envy wants them. Envy got them. No, butt actually, she needs to take I, care of. I'm gonna give it to you. Just let me know. I put you. You know, they're gonna love it. So why don't y'all buy it? No. 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 <laughs> why don't you guys buy the pajamas and show some support? I do yeah. that. I listen. I like Bernice. I've always liked Bernice. They got no male pajamas. Bernice is a very they got no cool pajamas, individual. Female pajamas, right? It's just females. Uh, it was just something different, and I just wanted to like see if I could do that. Sometimes they're regular when, pajamas. No ass out pajamas, right? No, they're regular no, they, pajamas. If they ass out, if you want to get an extra, extra small, uh, it's got you know what I'm saying? Out. It's just like you know, it's it's something that I wanted to do different. Something that I was I just want to do for me. Let me see if I could do this. Sometimes you try and be like. Let me try to push this out to see if I could do it. If it fails, it fails, but I did it. Is you that your main source of income right now? No. No. Okay. She getting booked. She just tell you how much she I making. I was asking. I don't know. She booked three times a week, four times a week. Yeah, I am. That's and right, and you know what? Somebody <laughs> said in my Instagram, <laughs> somebody said in my Instagram, don't you get tired of posting? No. <laughs> if that, that you that you get tired of getting paid? Walk in, walk out. Right. I'm only there for 60 minutes, mm -hmm. an hour. I don't drink. I make sure everybody has a good time. And that's it. And we have fun. You know what I'm saying? It's fun. You want to give your booking info up just because? It's in my bio. Real there Bernice you go. Burgos. You can there sign you it. Yeah. Well, there, there you go. have it. It's Bernice Burgos. Bernice Burgos. Key. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning.